Hello all, welcome to TripTop C Sharp tutorial series. Today we will be looking at one of the basic concept and also important concept of .NET C Sharp that is exception handling. By end of this tutorial we will be able to understand few of the interview questions that is what is exception, what is exception handling, how .NET handles exception and what happens if application crashes in finally block and we will also encounter questions in between which we will be answering as we go through each of the slides. Agenda for today will be, we will try to understand what is exception and exception handling. We will have a look at how try, catch and finally blocks are arranged and some tips and tricks to remember. What is exception or exception handling? In .NET, exception handling feature helps you to deal with any unexpected or exceptional situations that occur while running a program or while accessing information outside your system. There can be multiple examples. It can be when you are accessing a file and file does not exist or you have accessed file in between somebody went and deleted. Or it may be network connection failure when you are half done with the downloading of a file. Or it may be dat database do not found or failure while connecting to database. Because these all are external systems and in all these external while accessing external system we need exception handling remember that something which is in our control ideally should not be exception handling it may be when you are trying to divide a number if you are dividing it by zero instead instead of having it a try and catch block better to go for if condition where you check whether the value is zero or not or instead of going for argument null exception you can go for if and else where you check each of the argument is null or not and then you can throw the exception. Whenever exception happens, exception happens from a system level which takes more amount of memory and as well as time from systems point of view because OS breaks at certain point of time, it informs the system and .NET has to handle it. So better to avoid try catch blocks if it is not necessary. To understand exception handling, we have to understand four keywords. One is try. Try is the block where you will be writing external code, whichever you are accessing, whenever you are writing a file, creating a file, creating a directory, or it may be connecting to database, executing a query, all those things. You will be writing in try block. Next is catch block. Catch is whenever there is an exception happens in try. Catch is a recovery mode where you want to exit in a graceful manner or you want to inform user in a graceful way where you tell that the network connection is not there, please uh, try to connect to the network or it may be you are not, not authorized to create a file. All these things we manage in a better way in cache block and inform the user and you can write in logs and all those things. Next is finally block. Finally block is executed irrespective of whether you whether exception happens or not. Finally block is a cleanup block where you clean up all the things that you have created in try block. Like if you have opened a file, you have to close it in final block. If you are connected to database, you disconnect it in finally block. Because finally block will be executed irrespective of whether exception happens or not. And the last one is throw. Throw is important keyword because whenever you want to throw any exception or you want to inform user of error that you have encountered, you can use throw keyword. Let's try to understand more. Moving on with the next slide. You may encounter an interview question that is what code do you write in try block? You have to answer with whenever I am trying to access or whenever you are trying to access an external system, those kind of codes you will be writing in try block. Moving on to the next slide. Let's try to understand how try catch and finally blocks control flow happens. First will be try block where you will be writing external system code. 
it goes to cache block whenever there is an exception occurs and once done with the exception handling it will go to the finally block this is the normal flow whenever there is an exception happens most of the cases exception may not happen because network connection is there or database is already created or you are authorized with all the proper things then try and then control key control directly goes to finally block what you have to remember here is irrespective of whether exception happens or not finally block will be executed the code can be like this where you write try is a keyword and access external system is a place here where you will be writing your code catch exception e you manage an exception you write it in a log file or inform user with a useful message last is finally this block will be executed always irrespective of whether catch is executed or not there can be an interview question where they can ask that where do you write a code which will be executed irrespective of whether exception happens or not that is finally block and there can be another question that is will finally block executed even if exception occurs the answer is yes finally block will be executed even if exception occurs exception there are some points which you need to remember while handling an exception all exceptions are derived from system dot exception type if an exception is not handled in the program the program stops execution with an error message or program abruptly closed so if there is any kind of exception it's better to handle it use try block around the statement that might or that can throw exception moving on let's try to understand try catch and finally with multiple catch blocks it may happen that when you are you are trying to connect to a network and trying to access a database over there where you are having there is a possibility that two or three types of exception happens then how to handle it first you will write try block where you will write the code then specific exception which is not generic it it may be io exception or it may be network failure exception or a different kind of exception then you will write after specific exception you will write generic exception and then next generic exception if you are having and finally block will be executed after all the exception handling if there is no exception then after try block finally block will be executed the code block looks like this first you will write a code in try block then you will go to catch catch and try to handle a specific exception and if it is not specific exception type then you can write generic exception i have skipped finally block over here you can write finally block after this one in interview they can ask you a question where how do you organize your catch blocks or where do you write your generic exception and where do you write your specific exception the answer is first you will be first you will try to handle specific exception then you want to handle a generic exception type because if you write generic exception first then there is no point in writing a specific exception later because only one catch block is executed apart from this you have to remember some more points once while executing a program once an exception occurs in a try block the flow of control jumps to the first associated exception handler that is present in anywhere in the call stack if in c sharp the catch keyword is used to define exception handler do not catch an exception unless you know how to handle it else you will be leaving application in an devastated state so better handle exception only which you know a catch block with an variable will have more information required about the exception as you can see here e which contains information about uh, call stack or it may be exception string or it may be additional information so if you want more information about exception you can use variable e 
code in the finally block is executed even if exception thrown or if exception is not thrown. In finally block, you can release the resource, for example, closing any of the stream or files which, which you have already opened. Some tips and tricks to remember. If no exception handler for a given exception is present, then application will be closed abruptly with an error message and you don't know what to do it. So better to have exception handle. Finally block is executed irrespective of whether exception happens or not happens, which I already communicated. Generic exception should be at the end. Try block must while accessing information outside your system. I think that should cover most part of try and catch block. That should cover most of the things in exception handling and it should give an insight of what questions may be asked in exception handling as well. Thank you. Have a nice day.